Welcome back to another Random Bits. In this one we're going to look at spawning game objects randomly without collision. So in this project here I have a uh, already set up a prefab which is a cube. Um, this cube has a script on it that basically changes its color when it collides uh, with another cube. So for instance we can do this or this. So we're just doing this to uh, make it easy to see if we are successfully spawning without collisions. Um, this cube also has a rigid body and a box collider, uh, which is required because we're going to be using a feature of the physics engine to detect if we will be spawning uh, where another object is. All right, so let's uh, first just remove uh, these cubes from the scene and what we're going to do is we're going to create a uh, new empty game object and we're going to call this the cube spawner and reset its transform to put it in the uh, center of the world and then we're going to add a new script to this cube spawner and we're going to call the script object spawner we'll wait for that script to get created and then we launch the editor so for the script here we're just going to create a fairly simple script to um, spawn an object or as many objects on the screen as we want. So what we have is a couple of public variables. Firstly, uh, one that is going to be the object or the prefab we want to spawn. Uh, another one which is the number of objects we want to spawn. And a third one which is a radius, so the area that we want to um, spawn. And we're going to use this information so that we're going to uh, basically use this information to spawn an object or a series of objects into a an imaginary sphere. So we're going to do that in the start method where we're going to loop through the number of objects that we want to create. We're then going to create a um, calculate a point to spawn. And what we're going to do is we're going to take um, a random point with inside a sphere, um, which is the unit sphere method here returns a, a point within a sphere that's um, one unit in radius and we're going to multiply it by our spawn radius to effectively create a sphere around uh, the point of or the position of the object that we've attached the script to and then we're going to instantiate our prefab object at that point with a bit of random rotation so if you save that script and jump back into unity wait for the script to compile uh, what we can do is then we're going to assign this um, our collision cube as the object to spawn. Uh, we're going to spawn 50 of these objects with a spawn radius of 5. And so if we run this now, uh, we will have um, our cube spawned. And as you can see, some of them have turned red uh, because they are colliding with um, other cubes. All right. So obviously what we're trying to avoid is um, the collision with the other cubes. And to do that, we are going to use uh, this method on the physics object called check sphere. And pretty much what check sphere does for us is that it um, returns true if there is any colliders in uh, a sphere that we ask it to check and that sphere is defined by a position and a radius so we're going to what we're going to want to do is before we spawn our object we would we want to see if there is something already in that position and then not spawn our object if that is the case so to make the changes to our code if we jump back to our um, script the first thing we need to do is uh, define a radius or size that we want to use for um, checking where to uh, spawn uh, and this will effectively determine how much of a space or gap we want between 
uh, each of our objects that we spawn. Uh, then the next thing we want to do is prior to creating the object, we want to check that the spawn point isn't colliding with something else. And to do that, we're going to wrap that instantiate method with a um, an if statement. So what we want to say is if not physics dot check sphere, and we want to pass it in the point we intend to spawn. Um, our cube into or our object into and the radius that that object will take up and this will return true if it hits something so we only want to instantiate our object if we don't if it's a not if it's not true um, and we can wrap that up in our braces all right so what we're going to do here is once again loop through all the objects uh, that we want to create generate the point where we want to create them at use the check sphere method to see that we aren't colliding with something that's already there. And if there isn't anything already there, then we're going to instantiate our, um, our object. So if we jump back to Unity, what we need to do is on our cube spawner, we need to set this uh, radius. And since our uh, collision cubes are one Unity unit big, uh, we can simply set this to one. So if we run this now, we will see we get our cubes and none of them have collided with each other, uh, which is exactly what we want. All right, so that's uh, pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video. Uh, if you liked it, please give it a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And if you want to encourage me to make m even more videos, please join my Patreon. Uh, the link is in the description below and the source code for this project will be available for my patrons to download. As always, thank you for watching. Cheers.